Uh, good morning everyone, this is Al Brown Spencer again. Uh, today is Sunday the 17th of uh, January 2021 and it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning and I haven't been paid a penny of my compensation money or uh, investment money and I'm still going on with my plan, taking my case to court and suing uh, the government and the authorities that did this to me uh, I received lots of emails from individuals uh, claiming that there is a case against me by my ex uh, regarding my daughters and that she wants to deprive me completely from uh, any rule or interference future interference or rule uh, in their lives completely and uh, this is a separate case uh, to the for the to the case that I am taking to court so I don't know if they are trying to make it look to waste my chance to bring a new case uh, 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 and trying to claim that it is one case blah 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 but it's completely different thing my case is all about the use, abuse and torture are received by the government and yes part of it is about they used my ex or on papers to <coughs> to do many of the things they did to me so I'm taking this to court anyway uh, and uh, there is no backing off there is no turning uh, uh, to the point where just money was enough and was adequate uh, for me now, it even when I get my money, it is still going to be a case in the court and I'm taking these people to court and uh, making this a public case. I'm, I'm going to make it a public case, not just to expose them and to get them punished and to let the whole world know what they are capable of and what they do, but also to protect people from falling victims to their authorities to those people authorities and what they can do uh, and again it is all a matter of contacting the court taking the case to court and literally contacting the media which I already did I contacted the Crown Court here in Bournemouth and I'm sending an email to the county court as well because I'm working on all in all directions in terms of taking it to the civil court and the criminal court as well which I mean the the Crown Court uh, uh, which I will contact uh, criminal law uh, solicitors and literally take this case to court uh, again it's a matter of taking this to court and starting everything which I already started and I can show you on my mobile my emails lots of emails to Mr. <coughs> uh, John, uh, uh, Boris Johnson uh, the Prime Minister and Mr. Tobias Elwood representative of uh, Bournemouth who sent me an email saying that he is not uh, uh, going to help me because I do not fall in in the geographic uh, geographical uh, uh, authority or constituency constituency of his uh, uh, MP rule and all of this. So he passed me the email of Mr. Connor Burns, uh, the member of Parliament uh, for Bournemouth, uh, the the location where I am in actually cover it. So I contacted him already and sent him email. I also sent email or CC New Year New York Times uh, uh, newspapers, uh, Human Rights Watch in New York City, and uh, Netherlands, Germany, you name it, and many places. Have I said that I didn't receive anything? I would like to say that the lockdown and slowing things down everywhere, uh, helping my abusers to prolong the time they are still abusing me because I'm still being abused till them I mean yes yesterday I was poisoned normally and uh, I did not uh, 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 you know 
post anything and it, it, it became I mean what would I do I mean it, it is un unbelievable and when I say so the poisoning they do is to confuse me and confuse other people who may be uh, trying to find out what's going on so they change the poison itself the chemicals they use uh, in terms of what it targets and what symptoms it causes, and also they change the doses itself so the effect itself or the amount or the strength of the symptoms differs it, this way they try to confuse me and confuse people and again as i said before as long as you eat drink they can poison you the only way to prove it is that for over a month you should have someone eat and drink everything you eat and drink and when i say eat and drink everything you eat and drink i mean if you're gonna eat an apple you have to dice it and they have and you know mix it and they have half and you have half uh, if you're gonna drink a can of beer or a can of pepsi or a can of any or juice or whatever they have half from the same can and you have half this is the way and also they must not eat or drink or get exposed to any kind of liquids or fluids and so on because they might be getting or they might get uh, give them the antidote or the anti uh, uh, you know uh, chem for the chemical they give you and actually you will have symptoms and they won't and then you will say oh this guy is or let's say that you are making this up or whatever so in other words this is the only way to prove <clears throat> that you're getting poisoned if you are in the same situation or you have the same problem and you believe that you're getting poisoned by the authority or anyone and again it's more unlikely that you are getting poisoned by relatives or people you know and so on it's always it's always someone out there who has the authority to do so all what you need to think about what did you say in, and and maybe someone you know heard something you said about the authority or whatever and they are punishing you or whatever I, I don't know but I know in my situation in my case everything from A to Z and I'm 100% sure of it so in other words I am still trying my best uh, I am going to be contacting uh, the county court again and sending an email and the Crown Court again and even the solicitors who refused to help me and I'm also going to uh, email uh, you know the members of Parliament and Human Rights Watch and Human Rights Organization CC them in the email and take copy of it, copies of it uh, how long this is gonna take when am I gonna get my money I don't know all what I can do try my best to expose those cunts and when I say to expose them I mean it there is no going back there is no backing off nothing is gonna change my mind whatsoever I know what I need to do I know what I have to do these cunts and these bastards have the authority and destroyed lots of lovely things in my life even till the moment and they are stopping me from living my life because they have an agenda and a frame of time in their demented fucking heads in terms of what they do to me blah 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 even though they know that I'm innocent I have never done anything wrong in my life so that even shows you and that proves to me to me that these cunts are pure cunts with no honor and no, they know no justice so again I have to do my best and I have to try my best uh, this is my life and I try, I'm trying to restart it and restore it what they destroyed although you know it's simple and it's obvious and it's simple thing my life can be restored I can restore my life completely from A to Z of course it won't be the same as before because inside me personality wise and soul it has been vandalized I mean I have lots of scars inside rather than outside I mean physically so but again I know how to restore my life and I know what I need exactly to restore my life which is money and freedom and these are the two main things that I need to restore my, my life money and freedom and uh, until the moment 
they are depriving depriving me of both uh, and they are trying to bluff their way uh, in terms of you know this case which I will do my best and I will take it to court anyway again I do understand these cunts have zillions of solicitors and a base of uh, uh, personnel and and solicitors and they have the law inside out in their pocket even the court system they decide you know lots of things and they can manipulate anyone including judges and all of this the proof of this when they remanded me for doing nothing yeah the the judge remanded me for a month based on what <laughs> it's just it's just unbelievable unbelievable uh, hence i'm taking this case to public and i have to spread it worldwide so everyone knows what is happening and anyone out there who would watch this video and think oh man you live in the united kingdom you must be lying that is not happening i promise you 90 percent of what was done to me was done to me here in the uk and i promise you there is no justice and there is no human rights and these people know no honors honor even here in the uk and when i say so i mean it all or most of what happened to me happened to me here in the uk under uh, the authority of the uk and they knew everything and they even participated in most of what was done to me hence my goal is to get these cunts uh, stripped of their authorities and power and then fairly trial and exposed in front of everyone so they know that doesn't matter what power you will get and you think that you are untouchable you will be annihilated for any misconduct and any uh, human rights violation you would co commit or do anyway I, I have said enough uh, uh, and just to make it clear to you these cunts and I mean it the and if you're watching this and you're one of them you are a pure cunts you have no honor you have no uh, uh, you don't know anything about justice and you have no honor and you know nothing about honor and so on and the proof of this before you do anything to anyone imagine if that could happen to your son your daughter your mother your father your sister your brother imagine if anything you decide or order to be done or happen to anyone no matter what even if they are the most horrible people in the world and you're hundred percent of it yeah they deserve to be fairly trial yeah but if you decide to do something to them or you order to do something to them imagine if this will be done to your son to your daughter to your sister to your brother to your mother to your father just imagine this and tell me how would you feel well to be honest with you I don't expect much of an answer because it's a fact that you are a bunch of cunts who have no honor and they know nothing about justice so what to expect you to say I don't know anyway guys thank you very much for watching and you have a great weekend and again if you would like to support and if you would like to know the story from A to Z my name is Al Brown Spencer and uh, my telephone number my mobile number is 0746592503 uh, and at the present time I live <clears throat> at room number one uh, central hotel which is number 135 West Hill Road and that's Bournemouth and the postcode is Bravo Hotel 25 uh, Echo Golf again it's BH 25 EG uh, again thank you very much for watching wish me good luck I need lots of it and uh, I hope these cunts will be in prison before the end of March hopefully and to be honest with you I wish this is gonna happen as soon as possible and to be honest with you I want to close my eyes open them again to find my money is in my account and position 
and I have my freedom so I can restart my life and you know things like that and another thing I mean these people are stopping me from even restarting my life in any way form or shape even being online trying to date online which is the only way I do because I know they're manipulated bitches and cunts are everywhere they throw them at me in everywhere uh, and I know they can use them against me as well if I you know try to approach anyone and this is not the main reason that I don't approach girls uh, in public or talk to girls try to ask girls out and all of this uh, but again this is main part because they managed to put me off completely and just the the, the idea that 99.9% .9 of the possibility that any girl I would see in the public or go and approach is a manipulated bitch put there and when I say manipulated bitch, she couldn't be a bitch. She could be a nice girl, blah, blah, blah. But she is manipulated. And I don't know how they manipulated them, whether, you know, using good things or their good personality or blah, blah, blah. It doesn't make any difference. If you're manipulated to do something, even if you believe it's good, you are helping other people to achieve something you're not aware of and you cannot realize. And probably you might be doing something wrong and you don't know but because of your good intentions you know you're just oh yeah I'm gonna do this I'm you know I'm helping someone well actually you're not you are achieving other people some cunts to to achieve their goals or their plan or their scheme without knowing so in other words manipulation is more serious than killing if you manipulate people or get manipulated, if you're manipulative or manipulated, this is unbelievably bad and serious. Manipulation is one of the most horrible and serious things that anyone could do, whether you get manipulated or manipulate people. And when I say so, I mean it because one of the main pillars and foundation of these organizations in their work fucking up people's lives is manipulation they use it to fuck people's lives up so in other words don't be manipulated don't get manipulated don't let anyone manipulate you and uh, don't manipulate anyone and even if someone tries to convince you that you're doing something good blah 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 do not do it you don't know what is behind it you don't know what is the main goal or the scheme of these people so please 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 do not be manipulated no matter what have your own opinion about things and don't participate in anything or take part in anything based on manipulation even even if it looks and sounds a good thing and i promise you when they manipulate people if they try to manipulate you or manipulate anyone trying to convince them it's something good they will send you someone you trust and someone that you would think oh they cannot be doing something wrong so in other words just cut it short don't be manipulated don't do things based on some people trying to convince you or doing something good and do not manipulate people uh, because it's so so bad well, anyway, thank you very much for listening and for watching, guys. And I hope you have a great weekend and take care of yourselves. And if you feel or believe that something is being done to you, just get in touch. I might help you to find out what's going on. Well, anyway, thank you very much and take care. Bye.